Hello, welcome to the Photoshop channel. I'm Curtis, I'm a UX growth designer at Adobe. Yesterday, I took over the Instagram page for Photoshop, and asked you guys how to help me in designing an awesome poster. So let's see what you guys chose. The style of this poster is the Swiss typographic style. And I fell in love with this style back in college because when we're studying it, it showed us the dynamicness and the power of the grid-like structure using images and using sans serif type fonts. So we started by asking what color you guys wanted, whether red or blue. And you guys chose red, which I absolutely love because red is a nice, alarming, striking color. I wanted to import an awesome photo of a hand. So what I'll do here and drop it in. This is gonna be our primary photo where we're going to make it pop. So I'm gonna use the elliptical marquee tool to make the hand look a little bit more floaty. Select it here and then I'm going to make it into a mask. So I create this mask, which allows me to be able to paint parts of an image away. And so what I did was I removed parts of the hand here. I was able to get the hand looking a little bit more floaty and a little rounded in the shape. From here, I'm gonna use the pen tool and I'm gonna create a really rough outline of the hand to make it look more organic. I'm gonna start a new layer and then I'm going to drag it under the hand layer. And now using the pen tool, I'm going to start clicking around the hand and get some kind of choppy lines going. Cause I really like that kind of raw organic feel of what this poster could look like. So now the shape has been built and it is doing a really cool highlight of the hand itself. And from here, I can actually manipulate the points. So if I were to select with the direct selection tool, I can move the points around and be able to alter it. I use the pen tool because there's more control over it. You can create more jagged shapes a lot more easily with the pen tool than it is with the lasso tool. The pen tool. We give the option of having type on a path or we just have normal type paragraph style. You guys chose type on a path. And guess what we're gonna use now? The pen tool. So I love the phrase, never stop creating. So I'm gonna type that out as part of this poster. What I can do is now start tracing around the hand like I did when I was using those jagged shapes, but instead use the type tool to click on the path. And then from here, I can start typing and it will follow along on the path itself. So we're gonna get some really interesting kind of bends of the text, which we're hoping to get. If I move the points, then it's gonna start to change the direction of the type itself. So I do like how the text is just kind of forming around the hand and it's got this really organic way about the text. It's doing some crazy random stuff. I didn't expect it to look this way, but it looks really cool. So I'm gonna stick with it. So next, I wanna create a little bit more dynamicness from the pencil itself. So I'm actually gonna go back to the pen tool and I'm gonna start creating more shapes. It's looking really cool. I like how the shape of what we're creating with the pen tool is creating these really organic rough shapes coming out of the pencil here. I'm gonna start putting some of my favorite tools on here as well. And so we got some of this type and we added some extra shapes. Now we can start to work on adding some grain. So we took a poll we asked how much grain you wanted to add to the poster. We got something around 50 to 60%, which to be honest, I think you guys are kind of crazy. So instead, we're gonna go with something like 10%. So here, I'm gonna add a solid color. And then from here, I go to filter and I add noise. All right, so we're gonna adjust the slider to get a certain amount of grain. I think this 28.33% is all right. I know I said 10% before, but maybe we're both a little crazy. And then from here, I'm gonna adjust the blend mode. I like difference because you can really see the grain, but we're gonna adjust the opacity here. I think dropping it to around 28% is good because you can still see the grain, but it's not too overwhelming. And now we have our poster. It says, never stop creating. It looks very organic. It has that Swiss typographic style and it has some of my favorite tools on there too. So let's recap what we did. We added a background, we added an image and masked it out. We added text on a path. Then we added some grain and a whole lot of pencil along the way. I really love how it turned out. Thank you so much for editing with me. Never stop creating. Pen tool. Pen tool.